And a reminder that Tesla is more than just electric cars. Elon Musk's company has also quietly been charging up its energy storage business. But will that be enough to overcome questions about its solar power operations? Phil Lebeau takes us to beautiful Brattleboro, Vermont tonight. The Cappy House looks like any other charming home in rural Vermont. But Ellen Cappy is all about being energy efficient. From plugging in her Tesla Model 3 to the massive solar panels providing more than enough power for her home and nearby business. We like the idea that we have, you know, that we can be prepared, prepared for whatever and prepared for the future and also to be a part of the future. Even generating their own power, the Cappies are still tied into their local utility. So they've installed two Tesla power walls to store energy and keep them powered up even when there's a blackout. We got the power wall on February 7th, and on February 8th, we lost power. And we didn't even notice. It was seamless. It's absolutely seamless. You don't see the lights even flicker in your house. The changeover is that good. Tesla's energy storage business charged up this spring, jumping 81%. Meanwhile, Vermont's largest utility is planning to expand power wall installations and offer energy storage units to all customers. It is a cost-saving device for the grid. It's cost-saving for the planet in terms of carbon, and it's cost-saving for the grid because we use it during peak times. Despite some of the glowing reviews of the Tesla Powerwall, critics say there are only a limited number of people in the U.S. who truly need energy storage to deal with a blackout or a drop in electrical service. All other things being equal in your, your average rural area in, in the United States at this point, it's, it's pretty hard to make residential storage work. There, there have to be some special incentives and economics to make it make sense. But for the cappies? Storing their energy has empowered them to feel like they can ride out the next blackout in the area. Phil Lebeau, Nightly Business Report, Brattleboro, Vermont.